بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين باسمي وباسم جامعة الليبية الدولية للعلوم الطبية أرحب بكم أجمل ترحيب وأشكر لكم اهتمامكم بهذا اليوم المميز وهو اليوم العلمي الخامس لكلية الصيدلة الذي نقدمه لكم عن بعد بسبب ما نمر به هذه الأيام من ظرف جائحة كورونا عفانا الله وإياكم أجمعين ونبدأ بالكلمة الترحيبية لوكيل الكلية الدكتورة مريم النمر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بعد التحية أرحب بكم طلابنا ومشاهدينا الأعزاء في اليوم العلمي السنوي الخامس لكلية الصيدلة في الجامعة الليبية الدولية للعلوم الطبية وبسبب الظروف التي يمر بها العالم أجمع بسبب انتشار جائحة كورونا قررت الكلية للعام الثاني تنفيذ يومها العلمي الخامس عن بعد ليتضمن أنشطة طلابها وإنجازات فريقها على مدار العام الأكاديمي 2020-2021 وبما أن كلية الصيدلة تهتم بكل ما هو مفيد في طرق التعليم والتعلم فإن اليوم العلمي الخامس سيكون تحت شعار إحياء يوم التعليم العالمي ستتضمن فعاليات اليوم النشاطات العلمية المختلفة لطلاب الكلية من عروض تقديمية لما توصل إليه طلاب السنة الرابعة في بحوث تخرجهم وكذلك العروض الحائطية والتي قام بتصميمها طلاب السنة الأولى خلال هذا العام الأكاديمي بالإضافة إلى المنشورات العلمية والأشرطة المرئية والتي قام بإعدادها وتصميمها وإخراجها طلاب الكلية من مختلف السنوات للقيام بالنشاط المجتمعي للكلية لهذا العام الدراسي والذي يتمحور حول التعليم والتعلم وسيتم عرض العدد السنوي الرابع من مجلة الكلية والتي يقوم بإنجازها طلاب السنة الثانية تحت إشراف نخبة من أعضاء هيئة التدريس وفي الختام لا بد أن أشير إلى الدور الهام والمميز الذي يقوم به كل من الكادر الإداري والكادر الأكاديمي للكلية وطلاب الكلية جميعا حيث يعمل الجميع بروح الفريق الواحد كلا حسب اختصاصه ودوره في الفريق للوصول إلى الهدف المنشود مؤمنين بالرؤية الشاملة والمتمثلة في بناء مجتمع المعرفة والوصول إلى الريادة العلمية رئيس مكتب التعليم الصيدلي الدكتورة إيمان البوسيفي تلقي على مسامعكم المحاضرة الرئيسية لهذا اليوم المتميز السلام عليكم I'm Ms. Iman Al-Mahdi and I'm going to talk about learning process in brief I hope you will enjoy my mini lecture In Allah willing by the end of this session will be able to Outline learning process cycle. This learning style describe how to encourage students for learning. As we know, learning process can be formal or informal from the life activity. However, there are approaches to learning, and classified into the surface approach, and deep approach, and strategic or achieving approach. Approach. In the surface approach, the students are act as best planner because they just memorize information on and complete their own task in order to pass the exam. While in deep approach, the students are interested to understand and gain maximum meaning from their study. Whereas in strategic or achieving approach, the students are using both surface and deep approach in order to get the highest grade in the exam. As we can see here, the learning cycle is consists from four stages. The first stage is called concrete experience. In this stage, students are giving tasks or judge an activity. Then, moving to the next to the next stage and ask it to reflect their performance individually and in a group. This stage is called reflective observation. Then they have asked to, to draw a conclusion from their own idea and a new idea gained from others. This one is called abstract conceptualization. 
stage. Then the gained information or the conclusion is used in their a new experiment, uh, sorry, in their new experience and active experimentation stage. This moves us to the learning style. You know, each one has his or her learning style. There are four learning styles. The first one is diverging. And this, this style, the learner are focusing on concrete experience and reflective observation. So they take original and creative approach. Learner who using this style are enjoying the brainstorming idea and working in a group. The second style is assimilating. In this style, the learner are focusing in abstract conceptualization and reflective observation. So they emphasize reasoning, reviewing facts, and assess their experience as a whole. Learners who are using this style are able to design, experiment, and work in a project from A to Z. The third one is converging style. In this style, the learner are focusing or using more abstract conceptualization and active experimentation. So they are problem solver and can, uh, sorry, and able to make a decision and apply their idea to new experience. The last one is accommodating a style. In this style, the learner are using concrete experience and active experimentation. So using trial and error to guide their experience. In other words, learning by doing. In educational process, we should include wide range of learning activity in order to reach our learning styles and make our student lifelong learner. How we can motivate our students to learn? So there are some motivation. So, and some uh, principle to achieve this motivation. The first one, adaptive efficacy, sorry, adaptive self-efficacy and competences. To achieve this point, we have to provide accurate and clear feedback about student performance, focusing on development of competences, skills, okay? And we can design a task, okay? Not easy task, but we can design a task for students, not easy a task, but give a student chance to be successful. The second one is adaptive attribution and control. This can be achieved by provide feedback and stress process nature of learning and provide opportunity to exercise some choice and build supportive and caring personal relationship in the community of learner. Higher level of interest and interesting motivation can be achieved by providing simulating and interesting task and activity, uh, sorry, activities and material to students in order to achieve this point. Higher level of value also can motivate students. How we can achieve this point? This by provide task material activity that are relevant and useful to students. Also allowing some personal identification with learning focusing on the importance of the content and activity. Also, the goal can motivate and direct students. This can be achieved by encourage personal and social responsibilities. Uh, encourage students working in a group in a law in order to allow uh, for opportunity to attain both social and academic goal, also focusing on understanding of the course content and the word and evaluation of the learning process. 
This move us to the summary that learning can be formal or informal. Learning approach are three, which are surface, deep, and strategic approach. Learning with a cycle consists of four stages. The first one, concrete. The second, reflective observation. Third is abstract constabilization. And the fifth, last stage is active experimentation. However, they are different to a core student for learning. That's all. Here the reference, and thank you for your attention. بكل فخر واعتزاز ينقل لكم طلبة السنة الرابعة صيدلة مشاريع التخرج والتي هي من أهم متطلبات برنامج دكتور صيدلة التي يبدأ العمل عليها من السنة الرابعة وتتم مناقشتها في سنة التخرج وهي السنة الخامسة Hello everybody, welcome to our presentation. My name is Sofian Madani with my colleague Ali Tabuni and Iyad Sheikh. In our presentation, we will talk about the impact of pharmaceutical care intervention on healthy rated quality of life in hemodialysis patients. This is the title for our graduated project. And our Supervision Doctor of Dr. Mariam Nemer. Now I will talk about the background of the study. Hemodialysis patients suffer from poor health rate quality of life, which results in the higher risk of hospitalization and mortality. Also, pharmaceutical care is the direct interaction between pharmacists and patients in order to improve therapeutic complaints. A pharmacist who promotes adequate follow-up, provides counseling, counseling and therapy, improves quality of life. Also, project of the study, this research was conducted to evaluate the impact of pharmaceutical care in, in an intervention on healthy rate quality of life of hemodialysis patients. Now we'll talk about methodology site design. The present study was a plan to assess the impact of pharmaceutical care on the health related quality of life among hemodialysis patients. A randomized, a randomized control study was carried out after getting the ethical approval that three different hemodialysis centers in Benghazi, India. Firstly, the data was collected for 80 hemodialysis patients. After that, the patients were randomized into two groups, usual care groups and pharmaceutical care groups. Also, the usual care groups will receive the usual care. By the hospital. Staff, physician, and nurse, and technician. The pharmaceutical care will emphasize motivation and patient induction regarding knowledge, lifestyle change, nutritional information, and medication review. Now, with my colleague Ali Tarbuni, thank you. Hello, everybody. I will talk uh, study population area and period. First stage, the data was collected from uh, 80 hemodialysis patients from December 2020 until February 2021. The study area was three different hemodialysis centers in Benghazi, Kidney Center, Benghazi Medical Center, and Leyte Bolo Clinic. Now, I talk in the study tool. The SF36 uh, consists of 36 at times divided into eight uh, scales. Physical functioning, and body pain, and social function functioning, and general health, and the role uh, physical and the role emotional, vitality, and finally mental health. From these uh, factors, uh, time source and uh, are uh, coded uh, 
summon and transfer transform it to uh, social ring form uh, zero for health state to 100 best health state. Now, second stage. Pharmaceutical care group 40 patient has received special care sinus mass 2021 until now, such as the movement and the patient education regarding knowledge about disease, medication, lifestyle change, uh, nutritional information, and the medication review. After two months follow up, the questionnaire will be uh, distributed to them again to compare the result before and after the pharmaceutical care and compare result between usual care group in UC and the pharmaceutical care group in BC. Now, now we will uh, present our result uh, firstly, demographic data, gender 70% high cool the male, 30% had cool the female. Now with my colleague Iyad uh, Sheikh. Hello everyone, I will talk about qualification. Uh, yeah, here uh, we have uh, the primary uh, 14 person, secondary uh, 24 person, uh, high school uh, 35 person, uh, bachelor uh, 26 person, and uh, finally uh, post guard uh, one person. Uh, the age uh, we have uh, here. Uh, 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 between uh, 20 and 40, uh, near 80 uh, per uh, near you know, 18 percent, and uh, uh, 41 uh, to 60, uh, 61 percent, uh, and uh, finally 61 to 80, uh, 21 percent. Uh, result quality of life for the first stage, uh, quality of life for uh, hemodialysis patient. Uh, this figure uh, will show uh, the highest one to the, to the lowest one, uh, like uh, physical function uh, and uh, bodily pain and uh, mental and mental health. And uh, finally, uh, the lowest one is the root physical. Conclusion: uh, Health related to the quality of life. Uh, is the quality of life. Uh, is the quality of the quality of life. Uh, is the quality of life. Uh, is the and uh, كيف نديرو uh, كيف نديرو المانجمنت للبيشنت وشنو للكونديشن تاعي هني فالخلاصه انا ذا لوس سكيل وير بوث الفيزيكال اند الايموشنال تمام للهيموديس بيشنت ذا هني ذا اذر سكيل هني از هاير ويش مور ذان 50 uh, in the second stage, uh, the result uh, uh, will be compared before and after uh, pharmaceutical care, uh, pharmaceutical care and intervention, and between UC group and PC group. And thank you. Hello, everyone. Our Cobblestone project by title Bacterial Contamination of Cell Phones of Limos Students, presented by Hanin Al Fazani, Nada Bin Amir, Supervisor by Dr. Hanin Hussein, Co Supervisor Musa, Dr. Musa Khalil, Coordinator Dr. Heba Arush. The typical mobile phone is carrying over 25,000 Germans per square inch. This is dirtier than a kitchen, kitchen counter, which is show, showing more than 1,000 bacteria per square inch. And even the common dark knob, and of course, the most shocking of the fact your phone 
is dirtier than a toilet seat. Cell phones are coming among undergraduate students, which can be used to communicate for social or academic purpose. They handle their cell phones and several, several places, getting them exposed and contaminated with the variety of microorganisms, which may, may including pathogenic and non-pathogenic microorganisms. Aim of our study is purpose of this study was to determine the bacterial contamination of limo student cell phones to study the sensitivity test of isolated bacteria to antibiotics. Material and the method, study design, the cross sectional study was performed from January to March 2021 at Limo. A total of 100 samples were calculated collected from the cell phone of 100 volunteers from five schools. The first group corresponded to the health science group, which were medical pharmacy dentistry school. The second group corresponded to the non-health Science group, IT and business. The student who were asked to complete written questionnaire for data collection. The questionnaire included variable such as the use of alcohol to clean the surface of the cell phone, share. share of cell phones with the friends, the use of cell phone in the toilet. Collection of sample, questionnaire, sorry, questionnaire was Arabic language and uh, the study approved the Libyan International Medical University research Ethics Committee. Sample collection. 100 sample was col collected. A sterile cotton swab. Most in with the sterile normal saline is rolled over the exposed outer surface of the mobile phone as showing in photo. The most frequent areas of contact of the mobile phones, including the finger, the back side, and lateral side of the phone. Identification of isolated, isolated, the swabs are inculating on a blade of a blood agar, Makonki agar, the blades are incubating aerobically to 37 for 24 hours. The colonies are identifying phenotypical by gram stating motility and biochemical tests as bare standard protocol. 
antibiotic susceptibility testing, antimicrobial sensitivity testing as done on Mueller Hunter agar by desk diffusion diffusion method. Commercial dis discuss are using are using ciprofloxacin 500 milligram, gentamic gentamicin 160 milligram, amoxicillin 500 milligram, erythromycin 250 milligram, amoxicillin, clavulanate amoxicillin amoxicillin 250 milligrams will soluxa cecil triple sugar iron this is a micropal test named for its ability to test microorganism ability to ferment sugar and to produce hydrogen sulfate it is often used to different enteric bacteria including salmonella and shigella 80 sample positive reaction now with my colleague nada bin am sorry statistic Data was calculated and analyzed by using SPSS statistic uh, version 21. Since the study is cross-sectional, descriptive sectional uh, statistical analysis was conducted. Results and discussion, a total of 100 participants in the study, 49 females and 51 males, ranging from 18 to 20 years old, 52 students, correspondent to the health science group and 48 non-health related science group. According to the questionnaire, the first question was, did you clean mobile daily? 85% said no. The second question, the second question was, do you use mobile while eating? 66% said yes. The third question was, do you use your mobile in bathroom? In bathroom, 57% said no. That last question was, do you share your mobile? 72% said yes. Antibiotic susceptibility testing. Antimicrobial susceptibility testing, the result showed high, high prevalence of susceptibility to ciprofloxacin 81%, followed by gentamicin 77%. Terrible sugar iron. In acid acid yellow slime, yellow butt reaction, it indicated the the fermentation of the dextrose, like lactose and or sucrose in alkaline alkaline red slant red butt reaction. Absence of carbohydrate carbohydrate fermentation results. Conclusion, cell phones can act 
can act as re reservoirs of both pathogenic and non-pathogenic organisms. Future study, the gram stain tests are record, record to identify gram positive bacteria would need high quality microscope and camera to finish our work. We, we will thank everyone in the sorry acknowledge, acknowledgement. We will thank everyone in, in the fault of pharmacy, Dr. Khawla Abdul Razak, for, he, for helping us in the lab. reference. Thank you. Welcome. Today we will present our project under the title of the outcome of energy drink consumption on a sleep pattern and university by me, Nurul Huda Hussam, and my colleagues, Sundus Al-Atram and Muhammad Abdel Gadir which is supervised by Dr. Nuhal Mabrook and co-supervised by Dr. Adil Sharifsi. Main objectives are talked about. Firstly, introduction and aim of a study. Secondly, methodology. Thirdly, result and discussion. Last but not least, conclusion. And finally, talk about recommendation can be taken. Recently, energy drinks consumption are increasingly used despite growing evidence of their negative health effect, particularly among adolescents and young adults. Energy drinks are fortified beverage. In addition to dietary supplement, they differ from sported drinks. Their content has large amount of stimulant ingredients, such as caffeine, sugars, and other dietary supplements, such as vitamins or carnitine. Poor sleep quality and sleep disorders caused when take energy drinks, consumption of alcohol and other stimulants such as use of technology before sleeping. Also, when people drinking three or more energy drinks during a day has more chance to report sleeping less than or equal four hours a night and more likely to report sleep disruption related to stress and illness on average than individual taking two drinks or less during a day aim of a study. The aim of this study is to analyze the outcome of energy drink consumption on a sleep pattern and equality among college students in Libyan International Medical University. Method contains several parts. First part, data collection tool. Data were collected via self-administered questionnaire. It consisted of 20 questions included in this study, which 15 questions are multiple choice, and the rest was open written question. The sample of conveys is made non-randomly. Second part is the statistical analysis. The study data were analyzed by using SPSS software version 21. Third part is the study design. The present study is descriptive cross-sectional data were collected to help analyze survey measures. Fourth part is setting and sampling. Data were collected from self-reported students at LIMO and target period was a three month from 13 December 2020 to end of February 2021. There are public announcement was made online for all the students and target number was 1000 participants, but the study reached our 434 participants. Now continue with my colleagues on this course. Total number of students and colleges is 1350. Which divided two? Faculty of Medicine contain about 497. Dentistry, 286. Pharmacy, 167. Information Technology, 200, uh, 236. Applied Medical Sciences, 28. Business, 136. The final part of the methodology, ethical consideration. This is a research project conducted by informed consent. They were free to refuse or withdraw from the study. 
The participation is voluntary. Additionally, there is no physically and or psychologically harm effect. All participants' information were confidently carried out. Now, the result. First table describes the general demographic information part one, which contain age, frequency, gender, faculty categories, and years of study. Part two from table one, contain, continuous with characterizations of participants contain smoking state, sport level, chronic disease, take medications, help to sleep. Second table, which regarding assessment evalu evaluations. First assessment, are you consumed energy drinks? And answer by our participants for yes or no. Second one, how much energy drink are you consumed? And their answer daily, monthly, at examination period. Third assessment, why take energy drinks? And their answers, stay awake, improve performance, improve memory, mood improvement, increase the focus. Last two assessments, can you quit energy drink and are you aware of the harms of energy drinks? And both of assessment answered by participant for yes or no. It can be, it can be seen from this chart. The majority of participants had difficulty of sleeping when take energy drink about 40%, while minority of participants don't had difficulty of sleeping when take energy drink about 20%. And this is the most result that confirmed the difficulty in the sleeping related to energy drink consumptions. Now, discussion of our result. A total number of participants, students are 434. According to table one, the majority of participants were between 20 and 23 years old, while minority of participants are 28 to 40 years old. Number of male and female participants are approximately similar, where number of male 228, while female are 206. The most students responded to survey are from faculty of pharmacy, while minor one is business administrations. The distributions of participants according to the years of the study show the majority of participants from first year, while minority of participant from internship year. And continue with my colleagues, Mohamed abdel -Gadir. Regarding part two, table one, the majority of participants are 364 non-smoker, while minority of participants are former smoker. According to sport level, of a student, the majority of participants are 319, sometime did the sport, while minority of participants are didn't sport. The majority of participants didn't had any chronic disease, while minority of participants two had diabetes type one and two. Majority of participants are 412 didn't take any medication held to sleep, while minority of participants are take medication held to sleep. According to table two, the participant when asked about their consume of energy drink, majority of participants are 258 consume energy drink. When asked participants about the extent of their consumption of energy drink, the majority of participants are 107 take energy drink at examination period, while majority of participants approximately consume energy drink monthly and daily. Furthermore, participants were asked about why taking energy drink, the majority of participants are 137 consume energy drink to stay awake while minority of participants consume energy drink to improve their mood. The majority of participants are 385 can quit energy drink. While participant asked about awareness of harms of energy drink, the majority of them were aware of harms effect. And comparing with the study University School of Medicine in Zambia from 8 November 2018 to 3rd February 2019. They found the majority of participants are about 59% were found to have poor sleep quality, 
while our result found the poor sleep quality among new students are about 40 percent had difficult of sleeping and 38 percent some time had difficult of sleeping associated with energy drink consumption and regarding to energy drink consumption better among students at the same study 73 percent reported consume energy drink while our study found 59 percent conclusion in conclusion the finding of this study showed that poor sleep quality among dream students is high which is is about 40 percent associated with energy drink consumption additionally the majority of participants which is about 137 consume energy during Tuesday a week and about 36 to improve memory. Recommendation from the study is advised that regular physical activity can promote better sleep. Don't consume energy drink late in the day to sleep better. Don't consume more than one energy drink per day. Ministry of Health should educate the public on the daily recommended intake of energy drink. Here example of some reference used in this study. Thank you for attention. Uh, good morning, everyone. We will present our project title evaluation of different monetary campaigns available in the, in the Libyan market. Uh, prepared by me, Haji Masal and Isra Ahmed, under the supervision of Dr. Uh, Al Zahab Zariba and the co supervision of Dr. Khawla Abdurradik and Sarah Zanet. Uh, the objective of, uh, of this presentation is the first introduction and aim, secondly, method and then result, and discussion, and finally. Finally, conclusion and future work. Introduction. Meloxi um, can a new non-steroid anti-inflammatory drug used to relieve pain of rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, and other joint diseases. The, the drug performance must be uh, consistent and uh, predictable uh, to ensure the safety and effectiveness of the product. This uh, criteria are from, uh, conformed through uh, several quality tests that are essential operation of the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, the goal of the the goal of this project is evaluation different brand of Maluxicam and compare with stand, uh, standard state in official pharmacopoeia. In this study, we use the three brands of Molexicam, 50 milligram, is shown in the tab, in the table where all of, the, of them were uh, put from respective community pharmacy. Uh, a hardness test, the test was performed by Erika Hardness Tester using uh, 10 tablets and the average uh, force uh, of a fraction was recording uh, record in the uh, kilogram per cent square centimeter. Distillation test the distillation time was determined by aerobic distillation appropriate using one liter of distilled water that keep a suitable temperature. The average time required complete. Uh, distribution of six tablets was calculated. But in a weight uniformity, 20 tablets are weighted uh, individually and the average weight was calculated and complete compared with the past limits stated in the official pharmacopoeia. Uh, content uniformity, 10 tablets were tested to check if the content Claim it is uh, achieved at suitable range. Uh, now, Isra will continue with you. Hello, everyone. Okay. Bus limit, the access criteria for performance tests were as uh, follow. For hardness test, the accepted limit between 4 to 
8 kilogram per uh, square centimeter. For this integration test, all tablets should be disintegrated in less than 50 minutes. The content percentage of tablets should be between 95.0 to 105.0 of the stated amount. Finally, for weight uniformity, uh, not more than two, uh, or two of uh, the uh, individual uh, weight uh, deviate from the average weight by more than 7.5 percentage for tablet weight less than uh, 250 milligram and five uh, percentage for tablet weight uh, more than 250 milligram. This table illustrates tablet result for all three brands for four tests. All brands pass uh, disintegration and uh, weight uniformity tests and filed uh, in uh, content uniformity and uh, hardness tests. Discussion. According to results, all the brands did not meet the accepted criteria, which means that tablet may be experiencing significant problem during manufacturing and uh, handling. And uh, term of uh, disintegration and solution rate uh, as well. The disintegration time for all the brand was accepted in bling. Uh, the tablet will uh, not have any difficult in the breaking down into similar granule, uh, granules to form uh, solution. The content uniformity uh, test uh, of the active ingredient of all brand did not meet past limit suggesting that uh, the labeled amount of the drug is not correct. The weight uniformity test of all the brand were in the accepted limit, uh, which means uh, that uh, the weight variation is not large of uh, affect uh, the content uh, uniformity of drug. Conclusion, a, com a conversion between three brands uh, to the official pharmacopoeia revealed uh, that all brands pass uh, the weight uniformity and integration test will find uh, the other test. Uh, this suggests uh, the quality control procedure uh, I mean, uh, made not uh, strict in Libya in terms uh, of uh, ac accepting or uh, rejectable, rejecting brand uh, and take the country. Furthermore, problem in the transporting and uh, sto uh, storing uh, may affect the brand uh, quality. The future work, the work will continue to uh, perform other tests, uh, the solution and friability to ensure uh, of the brand are following uh, the st stated uh, standard. In addition, other brands uh, of Mexican available in the Libya market will be uh, tested and uh, compared the uh, brand which, uh, uh, with uh, each uh, other. This is my reference. And thank you for attention. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the, our presentation. Uh, this presentation talking about drugs prescribing and trend in three polyclinic in Benghazi 2020 with me Nassim Isam and my colleague Ali and Khalid Tajouri under supervision Dr. Salma Bukharfa. Our presentation, uh, first introduction, second methodology, third result analysis, number four conclusion. Num first introduction, prescribing is the uh, is focal point of contact between doctor and patient uh, and one indicator of the uh, quality of medical uh, care given increase the effort uh, are being uh, made to improve uh, to improve uh, drug used uh, practices and uh, prescribing, prescribing uh, behavior in the development countries in the local level of number 
of a drug utilization study uh, were conducted. Introduction, WHO action program in essential drug in collaboration with international network in rational drug use developed uh, standards. Selected the drug use indicator WHO reported 1987. This is sta uh, standard set uh, for drug use indicator can be used to assess the problem of clinically or economically appropriate drug use to, uh, and to identify per parent of drug use. The main aim of this study to assess trend of uh, prescription during the consumption of three clinic in the eastern region of Libya during the uh, four months starting from one month July, August, September, October 2020. Also the compare prescribing indicator patient care and missing information in prescription from the three polyclinic in Benghazi. Identify the drug use pattern in the three polyclinic, compare result current study and previous local study. Method number one, comparison of prescribing indicator in three polyclinic. Number two, comparison of patient indicator in three polyclinic. Number three, determination of missing information of prescribed prescription. Prescription were collected from the three clinic Majuri, Rasabida and El Kish in Benghazi City during the month July, August, September and October 2020. Prescription collected from the three bullet clinic were analyzed for following name of the patient, age of the patient, signature of the doctor, dose uh, due, uh, of the drug, per uh, uh, treatment, Six of the patient, diagnosis, date, and name of health institution. The calculation of average consultation time is the time of patient spent with doctor and uh, calculated from the time of patient enter the consultation room until leaves. The calculation of average dispensing time, the time of pharmacist spending with patient and uh, calculated from the time handing prescription to the time of patient move away from away from dispensing window. Now with my colleague Ali Tajori. As a result, comparison of prescribing of three body clinics, total number of prescri uh, prescription it was for Rasa Abida 566, Al Majuri it was 809, and the Kish it was one one hundred forty-seven as a total. It was fifteen twenty-two as the average. It was five oh seven point three. Total number of the drug prescribed was for Ras Abida nine hundred twenty-two, for Al Majuri twelve thirty-nine, for Al Kish one hundred sixty-eight as a total. It was twenty-three twenty-nine as the average. It was seven hundred seventy-six point three. Average number of the drug prescribed per prescription. 1.6 for Ras Abida, 1.5 for Al Majuri, 1.14 for uh, Al Kish. As the average, it was 1.4. Uh, per, uh, percentage drug prescribed in with generic name was 0 for all holy clinics. And percentage prescription with antibiotic as well, 32.8 for Ras Abida, and 15.3 uh, percentage for Al Majuri, and 55.8. Uh, percentage for Akish as the average it was 46.3 percentage. Percentage uh, prescription with injections is 1% for Rasa Veda, 0 0.866 uh, 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 for uh, Al Majuri, and 0 0.680 uh, 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 thousand for uh, Akish, and as the average it was 0 0.80. Uh, for uh, percent for uh, uh, the average table two uh, comparison of patient care indicator in the three bullet consultation time per minute was 
4.9 for Rasa Abida, 2.5 for Al Majuri, 2.9 for Al Kish, 3.4 for the average. Dispensal time per second was 105 for Rasa Abida, none for Al Majuri. 120 for a cash as the average it was 155 table 3 conversion conversion of uh, percentage of missing information on prescription for the uh, free body clinic percentage missing name of the patient in Rasa Beta was 28.4 for Al Majuri it was 1.9 and for Kish it was 13.6 as the average it was 14.6 percentage percentage for missing age of the patient in Ras Abida it was 55.8 and for Al Majuri it was 81 percentage and for Kish it was 74.8 percentage as the average 17.5 percentage Percentage of missing six of the patient was 100% for Rasa Abida, 100% for the, 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 the majority, and the case it was 99.3 percentage. As the average, it was 99.7 percentage. Missing uh, segmentation of the doctor, it was 78.8 uh, uh, for Rasa Abida, 57.6 for Al Majuri. 99.3 for Al Kish, 78.5 percentage for the average. Percentage of missing date was 997.3 percentage for Rasa Abida, sorry, and majority was 100 percent, and Al Kish it was 94.5 percentage. As a total, it was 97.2 percentage. Percentage of missing diagnosis it was 58.5 percentage for Ras Abida, for the majority it was 44.9 percentage, and for Kish it was 100 percent, and the average it was 67.7 percentage. Uh, percentage of missing name of the healthy institution for Ras Abida it was 0.35, for Al Majuri it was. 9.88 percent and the key sheet was 1.36 percentage for the average it was 3.86 percentage table 4 result of comparison of prescribing and patient care indicator in six local studies our studies in 2020 uh, the total number of prescription for 2020 uh, it was 1522. Average number of a drug uh, prescribed in beer prescription was 1.53. Percentage prescription with antibiotic it was 46.3. Percentage of missing name of the patient it was 14.6. Percentage missing age of the patient it was 17.5. Percentage missing percentage percentage uh, missing signature of uh, the doctor was 78.5 percent and uh, percent missing dose it was none percent missing uh, diagnosis it was uh, 97.2 and uh, uh, percentage missing date it was 67.7 uh, percentage missing name of the healthy uh, institution was 3.86 percentage missing beard of treatment was none Con uh, consultation time per minute was uh, 4.3 spent in time per second was 145 figure one the most prescribed class of a drug was for antibiotic figure two the most prescribed analgesic for uh, parastamol. Figure three, figure three, the most prescribed antibiotic was ubomantine. Figure four, the most prescribed drug related to medicine, it was uh, lazinobrel. Figure five, the most prescribed 
مثلاً لما كنت رجع was for keys of Chrome. Figure six, the most prescribed mineral and vitamin was for vitamin C. Now with my colleague Khaled Tajouri, the most prescribed. That's uh, coding the vitamins. We have the vitamin C. It's the more uh, the most using here. Then we have the most uh, anti-inflammation drug, inflammatory drug with the spray. Uh, we have the anti-fungal drug uh, with the flagy. Now at the end we have the other prescriber drug, the ORC drug. Total number of collected prescription to. Uh, codes that are bearing in one uh, one thousand ninety seven uh, nine two and uh, two thousand two study. Then we have the average number of drug prescription prescribed by prescription was also the same as uh, two thousand nine. The, uh, then we have the S four of missing information of prescription. It was considered. Antithetical uh, or similar to me in the rest uh, of the study. Then we have consultation and dispensing times showed improvement compared to previous study. Official prescription forms for each body clinic should be using. Physician must be encouraged to but all. Essential information request required on prescription. Physician must be encouraged prescribing drugs using generic name instead of a decrease to priority name. Priority name. Similar study should be meeting in the future following an internal.